Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung washer door boot seal. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new door boot seal. The door boot seal goes in between the outer tub and the front panel and it seals the washer. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's damaged and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to go around back and take the top off the washer. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws. Now that we have the screws out, we can pull the top off. All you have to do is grab onto the top on each side, pull it back so the lip releases from up front, and then you can lift the top off and set it aside. We can take the dispenser drawer out of the dispenser. We're just going to carefully pull it all the way out until it stops, and then we're going to press this little button right here to unlock it. Then we can pull it out the rest of the way and set it aside. Now that we have the drawer out, we can take the control panel off. We're going to remove these four screws with our Phillips screwdriver. Once you have all four screws out, you can carefully rotate the console towards the front. And then we can disconnect the two wiring harnesses here. To release the wiring harnesses, there's locking tabs that we have to press, and then you can separate the ends. Once you have both wiring harnesses disconnected, you can lift it off the mounting tabs. Once you have it released, you can pull it off the washer and set it aside. Now that we have the control panel off the washer, we're going to go down to the bottom of the front panel on the right hand side and open up the access cover. We're going to take this drain hose out of the clip and just make sure it's off the clip so we can pull the front panel off the washer. Once you have the hose out of the way, we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take out the two screws that hold the plastic housing to the bulkhead. Once you have the two screws out, we can close the access cover and then we can open up the washer door and take out the door switch. Once you have the door open, we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take out the three screws that hold the door switch assembly in. Once you have all three screws out, we can remove the clamp that holds the door boot seal to the front panel. The clamp is held in by a spring. It's usually located somewhere around 6 o'clock. We're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to get underneath it. And then we can lift the clamp out of the groove all the way around the door boot. Once you have it off, you can pull it out of the washer. With the clamp off, we're going to take the door boot and peel it back and push it into the washer so it's not on the front panel. Once you have it off, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the panel onto the washer. We're going to remove these screws that hold it to the bulkhead. Once you have all the screws out, there's a little tab right here. You may have to lift up on the front of the panel a little bit. So you may have to use the door and grab the front panel by the top of the door boot seal and lift up on it to get it over that tab. And we can slowly let it down. As you lower the front panel down, just want to carefully let the door switch rest and make sure that this hose isn't caught in the housing. Then you can lift it off the support brackets and set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off, we have to take off this hose from the door boot seal. We're going to use a pliers to compress the clamp and move it up the hose. Once you have it up and out of the way, we can take the hose off the fitting. If it's on there tight, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to help lift it off. Once you have the hose off the fitting, we can take off the inner door boot seal clamp. To get the clamp off, we're going to use a 7mm socket with a short extension. The 
head of the clamp is located right up here at 12 o'clock. We're just gonna go in here and loosen it up. Once you have the screw loose, it's faster to just grab a Phillips screwdriver and loosen it up all the way that way. Once you have the clamp loose, if it's stuck in the, the groove and you can't get it out, we can take a small flathead screwdriver and get underneath it and lift it out of the groove so we can pull it off the washer. Once you have it off the groove all the way around, you can pull it off the washer. Now that we have the clamp off, we can pull the door boot seal off the tub. Once you have it off, you can pull it out of the washer. Here's the old door boot seal next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. Before we put the new door boot seal in, we have to take this fitting off the old one and put it into the new one. We're just going to push it out and then we can swap it over into the new one. If it's a little tight, you can get this fitting wet before you push it in. Once you have it in, you want to make sure that the flat on the fitting lines up with the flat on the door boot seal. Once you have the fitting installed into the new door boot seal, we can put it into the washer. To put the new door boot seal in, you want to make sure that this ridge right here goes into the lip all the way around the tub. And when you put it on, you have to make sure that these two arrows here line up with these two screws so that this cutout for the water spout is in the right spot and you can get the door boot seal on. We're just going to start it up at 12 o'clock and get the ridge into the groove. Once you get it started, you can slide it back and forth a little bit if you need to line those up. And then we can just work it all the way around and get the ridge into the groove. Once you have the door boot seal on all the way around the lip, you want to make sure that on the bottom, that this lip right here went in between the inner and the outer tubs. You want to make sure that that's in between there on the bottom half. Once you have everything in place, we can put on the inner door boot seal clamp. To put the clamp on, you want to make sure that the screw is up here at 12 o'clock and we can fit it around the whole door boot seal. Once you have the clamp in place, you want to make sure the screw is still up at 12 o'clock. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take up most of the slack on the screw. And then we're going to use that 7 millimeter socket with the ratchet to tighten it down. Once you have the clamp tightened down, you want to give the door seal a few pulls all the way around. Make sure it's not going to come off when you're doing laundry. Once you're sure you have the door boot seal secure, we can reattach the hose at the top. All you have to do is press it down and then we can grab the clamp with our pliers and move it down so we get a good seal. Once you have the clamp in place, we can put the front panel back on the washer. In order to put the front panel on, you just want to line it up so that it sits onto the three tabs. Once you have it in place, you want to make sure that the drain hose goes into the housing here. Once you have the hose in there, you can carefully lift up the panel. Before you lift the front panel up all the way, you want to make sure that your door switch wire harness is still on the clip. And then we're going to lift the switch assembly up and put it up here so when we close the door it's right where it's supposed to be when we get ready to mount it. Once you have that in place we can 
lift the door up. You may have to push the wiring harness in a little bit. And then we can lift the panel all the way up. And this locking clip should hold it, but you want to make sure you keep a hand here while we put in a couple screws to hold the front panel. Once you have the screws on on the top, we can go to the bottom of the panel and put the screws in by the access cover. We're going to open up the door and we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to put the two screws in to hold the housing to the bulkhead. Once you have the screws in, you can clip the drain hose in and then we can close the access cover. Now we can push the door boot seal out of the way and reach in and grab the door switch assembly and line it up. Once you have it in place, you can hold it while we grab our Phillips screwdriver and put the screws in to hold it in place. Now that we have the door switch mounted, we can put the boot seal onto the front panel. You have to make sure that you put this rib right here into this groove all the way around the front panel and then we can put the clamp on to secure it in place. Once you have the boot seal on the front panel, we can put the clamp on. To put the clamp on, you want to make sure that the spring is down at 6 o'clock and then we're going to work the clamp around into the groove clockwise until you get over here till about 1 o'clock where you can't get it to go any farther. We're going to take our locking pliers and grab it and then we want to pull towards the outside of the machine. If you pull towards the front, it's just going to come out of the groove. Now that we have the clamp on, we can close the washer door and put the console back on the washer. To put the console back on, we're going to align it so the two support tabs go into the front panel and then we can lift it up a little bit so we can connect the two wiring harnesses. To connect the harnesses, all you have to do is press them together so they lock together and get a good connection. Once you have them both hooked up, we can rotate the console up the rest of the way. Once you have the console in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Now that we have the console installed, we can put in the detergent drawer. To put the drawer in, we're just going to line it up onto the rails and slide it all the way back until it stops and locks in. When you're putting the top on, you want to make sure you set it back far enough so that this little cutout goes onto the post and then we can push it forward and lock it into place. So all you have to do is set it down far enough and then you may have to press down on each side to make sure those engage and then press it all the way in so the front goes into the control panel. Once you have it in place, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in to hold the top down. Now that we have the washer put back together, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.